we're looking at an abstraction here. The abstraction is from this photograph. And this lesson is about abstracting with color, which is exactly what we just looked at in the previous abstraction. Now I want to call your attention that the white I use this time is different from the white. I don't think I've used this white in any of the lessons that we've done thus far. Um, but I'm using Utrecht, Utrecht Zinc White with this lesson. And the reason I'm using Zinc White is that it's, more tra it's a more transparent color and will be less likely to muddy the brilliant colors when we do need to use it. I have the dark set in there just fine. Now let's move on to uh, see what we mean when we see, uh, say extend the abstraction by linking the other uh, colors. Now if, if I, uh, as I did there, if I move one color into another, I'm not going to worry about that so much because uh, in the process of abstracting I'm more interested in the color pattern. I'm not interested in shape pattern so much, just the color pattern. I want to see the color pattern flowing uh, and, and in the rhythm that I talked about earlier. So I'm going to place a little bit of that blue right in here. And I'm going to, uh, uh, you know what, when I did that it took on the green. So that means I need to add a tiny, tiny bit of red to the blue. I need to have that blue, and that was too, way too much. Let's get it, I'm just going to play with it right in here. That means that probably the ultramarine blue would be the wiser blue. Now let's recap what we just did. We were abstracting with color. And what we were doing there was totally deconstructing the image by taking away everything that would suggest image to us and simply using color to develop the composition. <laughs>